Hi, I'm Andrea Eldridge from Nerds on Call at callnerds.com, and the question that we're answering today is how to use an iPad to create art. There's actually quite a few different applications that you can install and use on your iPad depending on the specifics of what you're looking for. Today I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate two just based on really what you're looking for. More of a casual doodler, we've got Doodle Buddy. Um, the reason I like this uh, program, very easy. You can use fingers, stylus, there's a lot of customization. So we can actually create with some pre-selected backgrounds. If you're looking to uh, create something uh, perhaps in a beach motif, you can select uh, different brushes for different styles, obviously a wide selection of different colors here. Um, and you can just do your art by hand here. You can select how that looks different. I had selected glitter, but you can also select chalk. Um, so you've got a bunch of different options for different effects. There's also some uh, sketch tools here in the center icon. So if you want to create an item and you're not uh, great at the freehand, you can actually use your, your sketch tool here to create a stencil effect. And there are some fun little preset shapes that will actually give you some audio with it as well. So um, the part that, of course, my toddler likes the best is to create some custom uh, shapes there with their associated sounds. Once you're done, you can actually save your work um, by choosing to save to photo album. And from there, let's say you've created a birthday card or a, a customized art piece that you want to save. Once it's in your photo album, you can choose to email it to yourself and print it out from a device that um, has printing capability um, or print from your iPad if you've got your AirPlay printer. So the other program that I want to talk about today is called ArtSet. That's a little more of an advanced program for someone who's looking to be um, a little more specific in the art that they create, not so much just doodling as actually trying to create a specific effect. So you've got a lot of selection here, um, you know, in terms of your artist palette style colors um, and a little more selection in terms of the type of effect that you want to create with your art. So in this case we can correct, uh, use some oil as a demonstration and change that up to marker. So you can kind of see there's some variation there. It lets you to be a little more uh, precise in your work. Now, um, once you've chosen to collect the work that you'd like, there's an option as well to go ahead and send to photos so that you can save your work and uh, forward it on elsewhere.